Hello, my friends. A few days before, I've been watching on Discovery Channel a B-roll about producing Jack Daniel's whiskey. And I've got the grains proportion, which is mixed with mash. So, we need 80% of corn, I have corn meal, 12% of rye, I milk the rye with hand mill, 8% of barley malt, but I don't have it. Instead of it, I use peeled barley and milled it with hand mill. At first, let's boil 12 liters of water. Water begins to boil, and I fill up the fermentation tank with milk and water, blending it with mixer. I've messed up a bit. I had to empty the bucket from water and then put here meal. In my situation I've got some blobs. And it takes more time for blending. Temperature is 75 degrees. And it's time to add alpha amylase ferment. I add about 4 gram per 1 kilogram of starch. Alpha amylase ferment has done its job and paste became sloppy. Now I leave it for about 30 minutes to simmer down till 65 degrees for adding ferment gluco amylase. The mash simmered down. Put ferment in ratio of 1 gram to 1 kilogram of starch. Whip it round with the wrap and leave in dark place for a couple hours. Let it sacrifice. After two hours of sacrifying, home brew simmer down to 32 degrees Celsius. Then put some yeast. I put 80 gram of yeast for safe. It's pressed or simple yeast. Close it up and leave for fermentation at room temperature. Homebrew with mesh proportions of Jack Daniels distillery was fermented for two days. It was fermented at 28 degrees. I see it began to clarify. I'll distill it fully, with sediment. I think it will have a richer taste and more extraction. I set up the range at 2k watts. First distillation and raw alcohol is right. I use a simple moonshine still, only the cool box is working, and maximum warming up at 2 kilowatts. Here we have a nice stream. After the first distillation, I've got almost 4 liters of raw alcohol with about 30% ABV. The second distillation I do with midget moonshine still. This time I distill with additional shell but dismounted the gauze. Plates get boiled, temperature in boiler is 82, 1 kilowatt setup. Let column work for itself. In this wise, the separating of four shots goes most accurately and effectively. Column temperature is 78.1, so it begins to separate four shots. I'm separating 10% from absolute alcohol. I've got more than 100 ml of 4 shots, so I change the tank and separate hearts. So, 
After the second distillation, I've got more than one liter of 84% ABV grain distillate. Well, dear viewers, it's time to run our moonshine through the charcoal filter. Here we have stretched moonshine till 54% ABV. I don't want it to come in contact with plastic, so I notched the bottom of wine bottle by using half a machine. I pressed fit the tampon into the neck. Put charcoal and pour out moonshine and wait for result. I've put out 300 ml of moonshine only for testing. Here we have first drops of moonshine filtered through the oak charcoal. Let it fill up, infuse and let's test it. Let's test our grand moonshine in proportions of Jack Daniels distillery. At least it's made following a discovery recipe. <laughs> Proud! and butted after homemade spicy herring. The smell... After filtering it has got a note of acridity like vodka. But it combines with mm, corny sweetness. Pleasant vodka corny smell. Let's test. Yeah, it has definitely vodka acridity because of charcoal. But acridity is in tune with softness. It goes soft. I feel a corny note and light barley sweetness. Yeah, after filtering, Munchen has definitely changed. This charcoal has definitely softened and cleaned it. Herring smells... Spicy, nice smell. Coriander comes forward. Heron is soft salted. If you like well salted, add more salt. But who doesn't, it's okay. Feel some heat cause of pepper. And uh, coriander and cumin are the main players. Delicious. Nice. Who watches me in the kitchen? You can wet your tonsils. Munchen was stretched till 54%. Mm, interesting smell. Munchen softness and vodka crudity. Pleasant. I give the green light to this grain proportion. Nice. But I have to make it as an original, to add barley malt instead of barley. I think it's fine to pour out into the barrel, and I'll get pretty nice bourbon. The heron is great. It can store a long time if it's in oil. 
three days of grinding is just the thing. There are many simple recipes, but I'm not looking for easy ways. Thanks for watching, thumbs up for spicy herring, subscribe for new recipes, see ya guys!